Hi everybody, I am Ted Yoder. Welcome to the Player's Corner. This is 30 Minutes to Better. Uh, this is Lesson 5 of the YouTube series and I am super excited about this one. Um, we're going to be dealing with something called polyrhythms. Uh, just, just the beginning, okay? We're going to dive into some other stuff later and how to use it, but today we're going to focus on just one in particular and also the single stroke roll. Um, now, again, the single stroke roll, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, show you how to do this and everybody knows how to go right, left, right, left, right, left. But we're going to work on a specific pattern, uh, uh, not, yeah, a specific pattern that takes you through different time, not time signatures, different rhythms. And uh, it's going to be super helpful. I really like this, uh, this approach to the single stroke roll. And uh, the polyrhythm, we're actually going to learn how to apply it to two specific songs. And so we will get into that. Um, so thanks everybody for joining. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to hook this up to my little tripod here and uh, we'll get going. All right, head over to your dulcimers. Here we go. All right, here we go. So this is our G over here, since we possibly might be dealing with people who just have 12 11s. Let me see if I can see my, that's my F up there. Good, good, good. Okay. So we are going to come armed with a couple things. Um, this is a practice drum pad here and uh, so first off I'm going to mark out to you what a polyrhythm is okay so excuse me uh, oh, my pen's over here all right polyrhythm so one way to look at this is um, we the, there's a polyrhythm that we're looking at and we're going to call this uh, three over two okay three over two some people call it a two over three okay but this one in particular what you're doing is you're playing three beats uh or you're playing a rhythm of three in one hand and a rhythm against a rhythm and two in the other hand now drummers use this a lot they uh they take it and and they they have their feet doing one thing and their hands doing another they can actually carry four different rhythms if they're <laughs> really good which most of them usually are Anyway, so the way we map this out, and, and again, I'm going to map it out, but the, the main rhythm of it, you probably already know because you've heard it before, and it's going to be easier to play it, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So it's basically math, and what we're looking at is, you know, the lowest common denominator between three and two is six, right? So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have six beats per circle here, okay? So one is gonna be going one here and here. And what this maps out is one is gonna be clicking one, two, one, two, every, every three beats, one, two, three, one, two, three. The other one is gonna go every two beats, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? So, now, that's just the math of it, okay? I just wanted to give those of you that are visual, let me lift it up, and you can see that, okay? So you have six beats, one, two, three, four, five, six. One is gonna be playing one, two, three, one, two, three. The other one's gonna be going one, two, one, two, well, one, yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so now if you keep that visual in mind, then we're going to jump over to our little practice pad here, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll I'll show you a little bit of of where to go to on to how to put this on the dulcimer. Okay, so now little practice pad. If you don't have one of these, I would recommend to get one. They're not that expensive. You can get them at any guitar center or something like that. But it's just a little drum pad that makes practicing rudiments really nice okay so here's how it goes now we're going to be going one two three one two three one two three one two three and the other hand is going to be going one two one two one two one two okay that seems very simple 
Um, so let's try and put it together now. I'll, I'll just show you this real quick. One, two, three, one, two, three. So see how the right hand is playing this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to try and count the left hand. One, two, 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 three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Now that's that way you get the general idea of this. Okay. So let's let's slow it down a little bit, and you guys try and play this with me. You can use uh, your knee. You can bounce it on your knee if you want. Um, and let's slow it down a bit, quite a bit actually, because some of you may be um, having a little right brain, left brain issue here. Trust me, I do too. So you're not out of place. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Right? We're still playing two, three, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, so this is just really hard to count, but there's this real easy method of playing this, okay? And it goes like this. So I'll show you this because you're going to go, oh, phew, I'm not even going to bother counting. I've played this for years, and there was a song actually, uh, well, I'm going to go into it or later, uh, later in the lesson here. To show you how to apply this but there's a song I played back in 2010 that so it was you know a long time ago and I did a polyrhythm pretty much through the whole song and didn't even realize it so um, okay so here's the pattern it goes like this right uh, together right left together is that right together right left right that's what it is together right left right 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 so you're still doing one two three one two three one two one two one two one two so you're still doing two different rhythms together right left right together right left right okay you're still doing two different rhythms uh, you're, you're just kind of basically putting it into a pattern together right left right together right left right so now what I want you to be able to do um, and and the way I would practice this is you need to be able to practice moving your right hand uh, swapping uh, the the beats with your opposite hand okay so if you start doing the three beat with your right hand and the two beat with your left, then I want you to be able to swap it without having to think too much about it. Okay, so that would go something like this, and and we'll just we'll uh, we'll name it out this like we were doing earlier. We'll name the pattern right together, right left right together, right left right together, left right left together, left right left together, right left right together right left right together left right left together right left left right left together right left right okay so i messed up there but anyway uh mostly just in my tongue okay so let's try it again so so we're gonna do two i don't know if i'll, I'll just say two measures but two two patterns each we're gonna do together right left right together right left right together left right left together right left right okay so if you if you have to play it slow and say it at the same time that's fine here's what it looks like I'll, I'll play it faster for you and without saying it because I know I'm gonna get tongue-tied so it's gonna be right I'm gonna do three beats one two three one two three and then I'm gonna switch to the left okay switch mm -hmm. so 
So let me let me go that fast and count count the two once and you'll hear it. It's it's really interesting. So here we go. One, two, 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 left, two, left, two, left, two, left, two, right, two, right, two, right, two. Oh no, I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> I did right. Two, left, two, left, two, left, two, right, two, right, two, right, two, right, two, right, two, left, two, left, two, left, two, left, two, right, two, right, two, right, two, right. Okay. So that's what I that that's the pattern that I want you to do it uh, to to practice this on. Um, is switching your right and your left, okay? It's gonna come in handy because it'll just really get you more fluid on on a lot of your arrangements and and different things that you can do with with different hands. So basically, I don't know if I've told you this before, but my goal always with practice and stuff like that is whatever, like, like people talk a lot about, um, well, this is a left-hand instrument, this is a right-hand instrument, uh, they say usually it's a left hand instrument, so play lead with your left. Some people say it's it doesn't matter. You're right handed, so just just lead with your right. I my approach is if I can do it with my right hand, I want to practice hard enough to do it with my left. So um, if I can at this pace keep my keep my hand still and just kind of use my my fulcrum over here, my pivot. I want to be able to do that with my left as well without, you know, so there, there are certain things um, that if you find yourself doing it with your right hand, try to do it with your left if you, you know, or vice versa, um, because you just, the, 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 the more you get ambidextrous like that, the, the, the better player you are and the more you're going to really enjoy uh, what you're doing. Okay, so let's, let's do the, uh, let, let's move to the dulcimer. And uh, and practice this because uh, you'll be able to hear the tones a little bit better. So let me. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. <laughs> I got to change my beats on this. Um, nope, not that. Um, this pattern is typically the three over two is uh, typically in a either three four or six eight type type song. Um, I think you could play it over a four four but that's getting pretty technical and we're just not focusing on all that right now. So uh, let me unmute this. BPM and that's just one place to start okay let me mute it here and so let's go back to we're gonna start on our this is a, a D here so we're starting on let's do E and A right um, so we're gonna go three three beats with our right and so our, our yeah what's it called ah, the polyrhythm the polyrhythm is gonna be three beats on the right for two measures three beats on the left so it'll sound like this I think you get the general idea. I'm going to try and let, let's not worry about the metronome tonight because we're just going to want to look at this pattern, this polyrhythm and uh, and have some have some fun with it. Okay, so what I would do is one thing you can do to kind of set apart your uh, let's say the two count, right? Okay, so you, if you're if you're just just beginning with this, we're going to do something like this. Let's let's take this um, uh, let's take this pattern here 
and uh, we're gonna that yeah you guys have all learned that chord pattern so there's an E minor right so we're gonna go that kind of gives you a little bit now we're gonna switch have been able to play it that fast um, but that would be a good thing to practice now the the cool thing about that is if you're improving a little bit or you're trying to find uh, some improv where are we at 16 minutes um, you can always just move your left hand around a little bit right things you can do um, to, to practice this three over two polyrhythm and trust me it, it, it's the, the more you goof around with it there's so much you can you can mess around with on here so um, you know tell you what if you it, it, if you get an idea and you have something that's really cool that I didn't go into or that you discovered because of this let me know um, send me a video or send me a, a note on what you did and what you accomplished and that'd be really cool to see so I don't know if we're going to get to that single stroke roll because right now I want to show you probably the most common three over two polyrhythm uh, and everybody knows the song it goes something like this. Okay, remember we were doing right, left, right, left, right, left, uh, right. Together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right. Together. So, that's one Christmas song that you can already start to learn how to play. And one of the easiest ways to do that is just keep your keep doing the one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one. And just keep playing your uh, <laughs> just keep playing your your um your two beat up on the G there. stuff you can do the three beat with your right hand so the first time you're going one two together right left right together right left right together right left right so um, your your one two three one two three one two three one two three so you're right that that's that's the way I play the song and you know of course I noodle around and go on from there but Always bring your two three back here. So one two three one two three one two three one two three one. Okay, so um, there you go. That's that's one application to the to the three over two polyrhythm. And the second one that I wanted to show you is the one that I happened upon and I didn't know I played it this way. It is, uh, I believe, it, God rest you, Mary Gentlemen. Um, so this is, this is one way to kind of introduce the song. And I'm, I'm going to play it probably slower than, I don't know, you can play it at any tempo you want because just like on Carol the Bells, you can really, you know, you 
can you can speed it up or whatever but always remember the pattern is that together left right left together right left left right left together right left right together right left right excuse me either way you go it's that pattern and that's a real easy way to to memorize it now let's take that together right left right together right left right and we're going to apply it to a totally different song but it's in three four and so we can do it um so uh god rest ye merry gentlemen okay so it's really it's very straight, or it can be very straight. Right, so we're going to... One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, oops, one, So we all know it, sorry, I uh, got carried away. Just, you kind of want to finish things once you start it. So basically it's very straight with the left hand. And what do you know? We've been practicing our polyrhythm, our three, two polyrhythm. So uh, we're already used to going one, two, three, or one, two, one, two, right? We're already used to doing that. So let's now bring in a three pattern with our right hand. And one way to start this, I think, is, uh, let's do this. This is your B here, right, below middle C. So here's your B, there's your E. So we're going to go together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together. Now, you're doing... You're doing three three beats between two notes, right? So you can either do one, two, three, one, two, three. You can you can mix and match. You can do whatever you want between there. You can you can go B E E. You can go B B E. You can go B E B. Okay. So just pick your poison. But um, and and I probably more than likely I probably don't do any particular pattern the whole way through. So. Together, right, left, right, together. you want to do that um, you know you can easily bring uh, you know you can easily put in a run like that without having to stick to the polyrhythm the whole time but that there again that's just another short quick uh, application to a polyrhythm okay mm, running out of water so so start out doing um, I tend to go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So eventually just kind of just kind of forget <laughs> how do you how do I say it? Forget counting it. Eventually you're gonna to get to the point to where you're gonna forget counting it and you're just gonna play it. So this goes one, two, three, one, two, three, and this one goes one, two, one, two.
have to do the whole thing like that, and that was just a quick and dirty kind of way to do it. One, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right. Okay? Uh, oh boy. Uh, we have about three minutes left, and I don't know if I can get into that single stroke thing. So, uh, let's see, maybe maybe we'll just touch a little bit more on a polyrhythm, maybe just recap a little bit. Um, polyrhythm, three over two. So here's, here's how I would, yeah, here's how I would practice this again. Um, you can, we, we've, we've done a lot of patterns already where we've, you know, done boxes. Uh, you know, this type of thing, and we've done this type of thing, right? So, so let's, uh, applying it, we already did that earlier, so practicing it would be like this, one, one, <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So you see how you see how that just kind of you suddenly go oh my gosh that sounds so cool um, so you know I, I don't know I mean you, you can just play around with that rhythm for forever okay so let's uh, let's do it in this one five uh, root five kind of pattern that we were doing before okay so um, in one of my earlier lessons I was teaching you can move around like this right so let's turn this into a polyrhythm it's very similar to what we were doing um, so again just move your you can either go start here going one two three one two three one two three one two three something like that uh, just to start out and get yourself kind of busy learning this type of thing um, or you can throw in a little bit more complicated um, again you don't have to worry about always keeping it like one two three one two three or one two three one two three you don't have to worry about that um, it doesn't matter if you mix and match them um, as long as you just kind of keep that, just get used to that pattern. So it'd be something like this. Um... hand um, and then move my right hand around but I would typically kind of play the three over in my right and, and do something else in my left okay so so yeah sorry about that my video just quit on me um, so uh, so normally I keep my the the three pattern in my right hand together right left right together So you typically um, so yeah that's uh, I think I think that's good enough I think the single stroke thing is gonna have to wait because um, you know the uh, 
polyrhythm thing. I was having a lot of fun with that. So, um, so um, hey, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this, the polyrhythm. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed it because this is the kind of thing that I really, really like. And I'm going to, we're going to spin around and do a lot of stuff with rhythm. And it's not, my whole goal has always been to not just teach you rhythm, but to uh, give you the application for it as well. So um, the rhythm stuff is a lot of fun. It's a rhythm instrument and there's so much we can learn. So we're going to hopefully dive in as I start learning more about polyrhythms and dissecting what I do and trying to show it to you and and bring you along on the journey. I'm going to, you know, we'll, we'll learn this together. So um, we may dive into more polyrhythms, but I think next week we're going to come to this single stroke roll uh, pattern and go to some other different things. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put it up on the site and let you guys know uh, what it's all going to be about. So um, I guess that's it. I'm Ted Yoder. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you joined me and uh, send me your suggestions on what you'd like to learn. And uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. God bless.